So yo yo guys and welcome back to another review. So today we're reviewing the 2020 CRV 1.5 liter turbo. So let's start this review by showing you the headlights of the car. So guys now let's turn on the headlights of the car. So we have to turn it on from the interior obviously. So there's controls over here. There. And then there. The full headlight is on. So you can get an optional full LED headlights. That is a really nice one. But this is not even bad. This is also really good. You can see the daytime running lights are over here with the hazards over, over here. This is the first light. This is the second light with the high beam. So look, it automatically is going to get turned off if you don't need the headlight. Really nice. So guys, this is the diffuser of the car. So you can see it has a 360 sensor. So there's multiple sensor over here. This is actually an aerodynamic SUV. So you can see on the body, it has really nice aerodynamic parts to get aero out the car. Down here is the fog lamps with this amazing chrome treatment. If you go a little more here, you have real functional vents over here to cool the engine. Number plate slots over here, really nice. If you come up, the Honda logo and that amazing chrome treatment all around the last headlight. Really nice. Now let's show you what's under this hood. Let's now let's open the hood of the car. So for opening the hood, you have to do it from the driver's side. There's a little button over here. There you go. So for opening it, there's a clip over here. There you go. There. And then you have a little stand over here for closing this. This is a 1.5 liter turbocharged engine with 190 horsepower and the newton meters of torque is going to be written right here it has a really nice engine that you guys can see it is a small engine but the 190 horsepower is a lot so it has also insulation over here this is a petrol engine by the way now let's close the engine bay so for doing that there you go there you go and then just slowly close this and then there you go the hood is closed so look at the hood there's so many aerodynamic things over here for the aero to all the way go around the car really nice now let's show you the side profile of the car yes, on this car is 18 inch alloy from honda it's a really nice alloy with a two-tone color so these are 235 60 and the rim size is 18. this is the front wheel drive variant but you can obviously get that four wheel drive variant too now if we come to the side profile look at this amazing treatment covering the wheel well really nice over here you have a chrome treatment that all the way goes to the end really nice the mirrors are really nice you can see the hazards are over here it's so nice chrome over here that all the way goes you have a roof rail really nice again look at the aerodynamic like look at these fenders these fenders are so nice that gets aero out the side profile now let's show you the back of the car now we're at the back of the car so for opening the boot just press over here it has an automatic tailgate so the tailgate is going to go automatically up and if you just press a button it's going to close come a little closer this is the seven seater model so this much you get this much room at the back you can put a mid middle sized luggage over here but if you need more storage you can obviously fold the seats so there's the first one do this there is the second one so now you have more trunk space so if you want to get this place like a really even place just get this first up then get this up then you put this this there you go so now you have an even place so you can put a lot of thing under the window line and then if you want you can get this back up like that and then put this on over here and then if you pull over here there is your spare tire really nice again and then you can obviously close this again and then put this back again like this and then just to put this back like that really nice now let's show you what's the size for sitting on the rear seats of the car okay, guys, now let's go on the back seats so first you have to open the door there's a little button over here and then there you go fold the seats get the seat a little front you can get this fully up and that's also in a gas strut so i'm not gonna do that i'm just gonna get it like this you know like this 
you actually have a lot of room in here you have a lot of leg room with a little bit of under thigh support is less but you could uh, the kids can sit here you have your headrest over here really nice you have cup holders on this corner that you could put a square bottle maybe and then you can close this very nice you have a lot of storage you have ac vents at the back for the rear passengers so here and then you can control the fan speed from here and then if you're feeling cold if you live on europe you can close this and then easily sit here now let's show you what is it in the middle seats you guys now let's go on the rear seats so this is the middle row seat you can see a lot of room you can also get the seat front and back because this is the seven seater for getting more space at the back you can do this or if you need a lot of leg room you can get this fully back really nice you have a center armrest over here with two cup holders and for putting your hand you don't have through loading though but you can put this back a third person can sit comfortably you have isotax anger points over here down here really nice if you guys come a little closer there are two charging sockets over here so there one two two charging sockets really nice and then you have ac vents over here and then let's show you the tone of the car so if i come on this seat look at the twitter it has this really nice design and then the speaker over here with decent sized storeroom lost black over here a little bit storage over here leather with stitching leather with stitching that amazing door handle now we're done with the rear seats let's show you the front seats so guys now we're at the front seats of the crv you can see my seat is really nice so let's show you the center console first so over here you have a little power output for charging your device at the front and then you have a little storage for like putting the key like over here really nice then you have two cup holders decent size room and then you have a center armrest really nice and it's soft open this you have some space over here if you want to get some storage over here you have a hdmi a phone charger another phone charger and then outlet really nice so for charging your vehicles and your phone and then you can move this front and back and then you could also remove this over here get it front get it back really nice the seats are semi bucket seats so it's really comfortable and it is fully leather and the arm the headrest do go up and come down really nice so you have this amazing gear knob over here with your gears you have an automatic parking brake so for parking for non parking you have brake hold and then eco so that's a very nice mode for use that you have the infotainment over here so you have to start the vehicle then the infotainment is going to turn on you have apple carplay and android auto really nice and then the honda logo nice so here's the infotainment nothing that much to show over here really nice and then if you come a little down these are for your dual zone climate control if you press over here the climate button is going to come for your air condition to low high and then what you want your wind speed and it comes with heated seats too really nice now if we show you the driver's seat and the digital rpm now let's show you the seat so the driver's seat is automatic so you can all the way low the seat so it all the way goes down for tall people to comfortably sit here or if you're short as me you can just fully jack up the seat so it all the way goes high and short people can get a sporty ride on this you can recline and get the seat front really nice and then you could go to front back really nice now let's show you the door of the car so over here you have two memory seats and then it turns a green light whenever you press it and then you could adjust the seat from here really nice you have your mirror control and then lock on lock your four auto mirrors you have decent sized room over here again look at the twitter it's so nice over here right over here and then you have that leather 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 first let's start the car there you go the digital rpm is on and then over here is your temperature for your cooling the engine this is for the fuel this is for the trip control and then you have a digital rpm at the middle so if you just rev the car there really nice and the digital rpm is actually really pretty on this car 
Now let's show you the full steering wheel. Full of the car. This is a full leather strap steering wheel. Really nice. You have control over here for the control for the set. These are for your infotainment and the control for the side one. Really nice. The Honda logo with that airbag. Good material over here. You have two plastic paddle shifters over here. Really nice. And then these are your headlight controls over here. And then over this side is your windshield wiper controls. Really nice. The start button is over here. So when you put your foot on the brake, it turns on. And when you start the car, it's going to turn red. That's a nice feature. And if you turn it off right now, it's going to just go non-color. This is for opening the automatic tailgate, parking sensors, traction control off. You have a little storage area to put your money bag or something. AC vents over here. Really nice. Really nice effect over here. Leather, leather, soft touch, soft touch. Really nice. You have a full vanity mirror with a light. Really nice. And then you have a full panoramic sunroof. Camera angle. So it comes with a full panoramic sunroof. So put the car on start. So first, if you press here, the cover is going to open. And then if you press this one, the sunroof is going to open. So it has a huge sunroof so someone can stand over here. Very nice. And for closing it, there you go. For closing the cover, there you go. Real e nice. So guys, when you start the car, there is going to come a camera over here. So just give it a second. So There you can see there is a camera at the passenger side mirror that gives you a full 360 effect from the surround view camera. Really nice. And if you turn off the hazards, it's going to go. And if you turn it back on, it's going to back up. And if you put your steering over here with your hazards, there you go. The hazards are going to turn off, it's going to go. So guys, it has a full sunglass holder. And then if you, you have a little mirror to look at behind what your kids are doing. And then you can just fully close it. You have two lights over here. And then you have a light over here. A lot of light inside this car. And then you can turn it off and then turn this off from here. Really nice. Guys, now we're done with the interior. We are at the end of the video. So first, let's show you the backlight. So I'm going to turn on the backlight right now. So this is the full backlight. And if you put the hazards, that's the that's when you press press the brake really nice and then if you turn off the hazards turn off the full light this is the only brake light this is for braking this is for non braking really nice because it has a really nice design up then cornered then here it has this chrome line all the way in the middle the Honda logo then all the way goes over here it has a rear spoiler with a rear spoiler light, a shark fin, really nice. Come a little down, you have the number plate slot, the, three, the reverse camera of the car, and then multiple sensors with two real exhaust pipes. So there's one over here, another one over there. Really good, Japan. Now, we're at the end of the review. Make sure you're subscribed, hit the like button, and enjoy the close view. I'm gonna see you after the close view. Peace.
So guys, you guys saw the close view. Make sure you're subscribed. You need any type of car, come here at Cake Automobiles. Their Facebook page is going to be at the description. Thank you for them for giving their CRV to me. And we're at the end of the review. Make sure you're subscribed. Peace out.